All praises to Jesus Christ. May the blessings of the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit shower down on all of you. The country of Austria, which I am talking about today, is being placed into the Immaculate Heart of Mother Mary. Austria is a small, German-speaking, mountainous country in Central Europe. To the east of this small country is Epsom, a small town famous for the Marian Church of Our Lady of Epsom. The faithful flock to this church to pray before Our Lady of Epsom, who is associated with a 1797 apparition. The coat of arms of Epsom depicts the face of the Virgin Mary and shows that this Marian apparition is close to the heart of the people of Epsom. On January 17, 1797, an 18-year-old girl named Rosina Butcher was sewing at a table by a window in one of the first floor rooms of her house. Between 3 and 4 in the afternoon, Rosina suddenly looked up and saw what had never been there before. It was a clear drawing on the glass window pane, an image of Mary, the mother of God. Most of the houses in Epsom have double windows with the glass divided into four small panels. The image of the Blessed Mother appeared in the frame of one of the upper panels on the inside window which could be opened only from the room where Rosina was sitting. The position of the image of the Virgin Mary on the window pane was that of a figure bending forward to look into the room. From the forehead of the Blessed Mother a veil fell back over her shoulders. Her eyes had an expression of mingled sorrow and compassion, and her right cheek was stained with a teardrop. Rosina called her mother to see the image of the Virgin Mary. Her mother hurried over and was initially frightened because Rosina's mother thought an accident could have befallen her husband or son who walked in the salt mine. Mother and daughter prayed together for the safe return of both men. After saying their prayers, Rosina's mother wiped the drawing off the window pane with a damp cloth. But surprisingly, the picture returned to the window just as it had been before. The apparition of the image took place on a Tuesday and on Thursday both men came home perfectly safe from the salt mine. Soon the report of the miracle spread through the village and the people gathered to behold the marvelous picture. The parish priest had the window pane removed so that it might be tested. During the testing of the window, it was discovered that when the window was submerged under water, the image would disappear. However, when the window was dried off, the image would reappear. The scientists who examined the window were not able to conclude how the image was created on the glass. Realizing that it was more than likely a miracle and not explainable through the scientific process, the priest returned the image to the butcher family. The villagers insisted that the picture should be brought into the parish church because as they explained, where the, the sun stays, stays there, there must, must be, be a place, place for, for the mother, mother too. Thus, on the 24th of June 1797, the miraculous image of the Virgin Mary, which was not made by human hands, was carried into the parish church in a festive procession.
The Marian Sanctuary of Absam is probably the only one in the world where Our Lady's miraculous image is imprinted on glass. The glass is only 7 cm high and 5 cm wide, but the face of Mary can be seen clearly. Soon, pilgrims began to flock to the Marian Sanctuary of Absam to pray before the miraculous image of the Virgin. Miraculous healings began to occur through the powerful intercession of Our Lady of Epsom. Due to the church's popularity as a site of pilgrimage during the year 2000, the church was raised to the status of minor basilica. This Marian apparition is unique because unlike other Marian apparitions, it left a permanent memento in the form of an image of the Mother of God imprinted onto a window pane. Our Lady of Epsom, pray for all the nations, especially for Austria. Amen.